Aloha guys, this is Scuba Chris. Uh, recently I made a video on putting reflective tape on your fishing gear, as well as spikes and other things. So you, at night, nobody will lose anything and you won't trip over your stuff, all right? Now, a lot of response was drawn to that video, not because of the video itself, but because of this picture. Notice anything different about that picture there? Okay, if you, we have a close-up on my leadering system, all right? Now look at it. That's my leadering system. It's something I've been using on my own since the late 70s. That drew a lot of attention. So much attention, I, I thought I'd make another video on it. This is that leadering system right here, okay? I call this a self-adjustable leader okay um when this is done here i'll show you how to do this part um you can put this on a two-way slide like this one a one-way slide three-way two-way swivels it's up to you Dep and it depends i mean you can use this for live baiting dead baiting and you see the system all right this hook will slide back and forth Okay. I'm going to show you how I do this. Um, for some reason, that drew more attention than the video itself, okay? And the only thing you're going to need for that, good pair of crimpers. Um, I use, you can use floral, I use mono. You're going to need double sleeve crimps. Well, sorry, double sleeve crimps. And your favorite hooks. I like to keep my rigs, unless if it's a dedicated rig for like sharks or other big things like that, like GTs, then I'll go bigger. But for a general rig, I, I use a 130 pound test line. I use five aughts, uh, five aught circles. I prefer the circles. And the five aughts is um, roughly the same size as the old style BKNs, all right? So let's have it. I'll show you guys how I do this. Okay, this is my work area. It doesn't look like a work area because you can't see it on camera, but it's my work area. I'm out in the garage, so in case a hook flies away or line clippings fly off, it's not gonna matter because if I do that upstairs and I don't find it, I'm gonna end up down here anyway. So I might as well just stay here, right? So let me show you how I make this sliding leader system of mine. Okay, now I'm using for, for lighter fare, which is what I like to do, I don't like to target bigger species. Um, I'm gonna use 130 pound test mono. All right, so I just snipped off the section of mono, which is maybe about a foot and a half or so. Um, hooks, I mean, the, these Izuo Lua hooks, which are, you know, Lua's for GTs, the, this is size 24. That, that was a good all around size in my day um that's a 24 and what i'm gonna um use instead it would be the mustad this is a 5 odd this is what you call demon 3x 3x means is this a circle hook 3x means is that it's the point the point how the 3x comes in more into the shank the 2x a little less the 1x a little less so it depends on your application what i do like about the mustads the the these circles Factory offset, so better hook up, guys. Keep that in mind. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it off. I'm going to use my Mustad crimper. And you can't see it. I got a bunch of crimps here. Oh, my God. I have just about every size of crimps you can possibly imagine. For this one, I'm going to be using the 1.3 millimeter. Okay. So, we're gonna get a hook. Out of habit, I always start on the inside, meaning this part right here. Okay, go down to about half the line, like so. Okay, put this back through the eye. Now, I'm gonna do 
three loops, okay? I'm gonna go one, two, three, okay? See that? Three loops. Flemish eye is what you um, call the basic eye when you're crimping. Uh, mostly trollers use this, and from trolling, I, um, I, I'm now using this for uh, short casting. Um, if you were to crimp this correctly, it's like tying a knot correctly. It will never, ever break at the knot. That's what you want, okay? See, that's all cinched up, see? That's what you want, all right. I know a lot of people are more used to tying, but I tell you, crimps are good. I brought in two 900 pound plus blue marlins by myself with this system, all right? Crimping, crimping does work. Okay, see how I did that? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna use the, my crimper here and I did put out a video a couple years back on the correct way of crimping. Now, this is the correct way. You notice how I have the edge of the crimp showing, right? You don't want to line up the edge of the crimper on the edge of the crimp, because when you do that, it's gonna cut into the line itself and you're gonna lose your rig. Come back, show about 1 16th of an inch, like that. See how I'm showing 1 16th of an inch? Okay, now press down. Same thing on the other side. Press down. One more in the middle, press down. You notice I don't have to apply too much pressure, okay? Now, from here, watch this. This is very important, guys. From here, we're gonna add on the second hook, okay? Yes, you know, we're going to get our 1.3, another one. So what we're going to do, all right, we're going to slide down the 1.3, the second 1.3 crimp. This is what you call double barrel or double sleeve crimp. Like so. That is almost the finished product. Now I'm gonna target um, species using live Vicky, which is goldfish. The goldfish I'm using can be like six, seven inches. So I'm I'm trying to figure out from here what the span should be. Come in. It's just eyeballing. Okay, come in like so. Okay, put the, I put the hook in the middle. That's kind of what I want it to be right about there. Okay. Same thing. Go within 16th of an inch, crimp. 16th of an inch on the other side, crimp. One more in the middle, crimp. There you go. I'm gonna cut off my excess. That's what it looks like. Now, you can, what I normally do is I leave it loose like this and I'll use an improved clench knot and I'll put this on either my, on my slide. This is a two-way slide, meaning that it, it, it can go down, it can go up depending if the bait's starting to swim up again. Um, sometimes swell action, or current will take it back up, so it's always moving up and down. It's called two-way slide. One-way slide will have the, um, a lead weight on it and it just goes down. Do it this way for light baiting. Otherwise, I will use my, um, for big, dead bait casting as well as live, you can also go with a three-way swivel, all right? So what I do is I just kind of leave it like this and I'll tie this using an approved uh, clench knot 
at the site, and I'll just leave it like that. Now, you see what happens here? Look. The hook slides up and down. That's what I want. The hook is going to do all the sliding. That's, that's my system here. Now, you can go ahead and make a crimp here, and you can just crimp this off, which I guess I should do on this one. Because um, I don't like working in the field that much. I like to have everything set ahead of time. Okay. So again, put put my crimp through. On this one here, we're gonna use the two-way slide. We're gonna okay, put it back through the loop like so. Go to one, okay, I'm sorry, one, two, three times. We went through that three times. Okay. Put it through the crimp, like that, okay. And again, with the crimper, crimp, crimp within a sixteenth of an inch up the end, one more in the middle, cut off the excess, pow, that's it. So this is actually just kind of long, I could probably cut another inch or two shorter but that's basically how I do my system all right this works I've been using this for a while it works I learned this from um, going trolling all the time bottom fishing and I adapted this to my short casting all right guys thank you okay if you're gonna try live baiting live bait needle comes in handy or you can use tie straps. Dead bait will work also. Um, besides what I showed you here, you can use um, bait bags. This is made with Big Vicks um, bait knitting, or you can use bait thread. Thanks.